Y'all nigga hungry. You nigga slice a piece of this shit serious. Look at look at this shit, nigga. This shit serious, nigga. Broke ass. <laughs> it's like <ain't> serious. <laughs> Anything? No. So no early? Yo, 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 what's poppin', what's poppin', this your boy Candle Trucker checking in. Hey, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good shit for your boy. Man, right now I'm out here in OKC, man. Um, just picked up this load of shingles. I'm finna run it up here to uh, Illinois. And then I'm gonna try to get some from my little spot over there in Illinois that I be getting my little shit from, type shit, type shit. So uh, this week, bro, we made $4,725 um, net coming straight to me, man. So we got paid that friday and we moving on to this week man so um this low pays like 800 miles for 1900 dollars. it's some shingles i mean shingles don't pay too much of nothing but it's a good load coming out of the area that i'm in i went home this weekend because i took a load from houston to okc that load paid 1140 dollars which I wasn't even tripping about it. I'm like, man, I'm just trying to roll. He was like, man, you might well go to the house. I'm like, all right, fuck it. It is what it is. So my dispatch hit me up uh, Friday was like, hey, man. Because my boy, my, my, my dispatcher, my boy be knowing that, that, that I shoot the fuck off sometimes. He know that. You know what I'm saying? Not on him, but he know I can shoot the fuck off. And he like, hey, man, I know this is a coincidence, bro. But you got selected uh, to do a random drug test. Like, it ain't got nothing to do with your out-of-service violation and all that shit like that. I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm like, bro, I ain't really tripping, bro, because my boy Rob, mind you, me and, like, 10 other blood drivers, we all close. Like, we cool, fool. So, like, when shit go down over here at Blur with certain drivers that's in my little circle over here at Blur, like, we all talk to each other about it. So Rob and uh, my boy Big Lou, they got hit with a drug test back in January. So, I knew I was supposed to be on that random. I knew I was supposed to be on that motherfucker because I'm in the same terminal. Me and Rob got the same dispatcher, too. So, it's just coincidentally, my truck was broke down. You feel me? So, they didn't drug test me. So, this time came around. Rob, last week, he, he had hit me up and told me, like, bro, they just hit me with a random. So, I'm like, all right, bet. I knew I was on that motherfucker. But... How everything played out with me getting put out of service and all this shit like that. Random. I ain't even tripping about it. So I went, I was in Houston, went over there and um, took me a drug test. That shit took like 10 minutes and shit, I got the fuck back on the road. You know what I'm saying? So let me tell y'all about this out of service violation, bro, that I had got. So Blur said I started sending emails, putting shit on the Qualcomm and shit, talking about the particular situation. Like, hey. Y'all need to have y'all glasses, blase, blase, blase shit. Like, they just took that shit and just ran all the way with it, which I don't give a fuck. I mean, the thing about it is the reason I got stopped was because he said our numbers are bad. So, it ain't had nothing to do with me. Shit, shit happened. It is what it is. That's just how I feel about it. So, I woke up that next morning, right? My fuel card was cut off. It was inactive. I don't know what the fuck Blur be having going on with cutting people fuel card off and not telling them. My thing about it, if they would have told me the night before that my fuel card was off, I would have been like, all right, cool, boom. Pay cash for it and dip. Like I did. You know what I'm saying? I paid cash for the fuel, 400 put 400 in the truck, and I got the fuck on down the highway. I wasn't tripping about nothing. So um, I pull over in Van Horn, Texas, in Buttfuckville, Egypt, y'all. I get the truck looked at, you know what I'm saying? Dude trying to find the leak that the DOT officer say that, he, that I had the leak or whatever. Y'all see it in the previous um, video. He was trying to find it. He couldn't find no leak or nothing like that. So it is what it is. So I'm trying to get back into compliance for them to turn my fuel card back on. Safety guy, he low-key being a dick. I ain't going to cap you down. Low-key hassling me, you know what I'm saying? But keeping it professional because at that point, I'm low-key shooting off on him like, bro, you really doing the most right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just some crazy shit. He was like, you got to write write a letter and say that you certified. And I'm like, bro, this extra kitty ass shit. So, there's neither here or there, bro. Me and him, we had a little words. I left it at that. Basically, I got back into compliance. 
and I got the fuck on down the highway. That's when I made it to Houston. He hit me with the drug test. I know it was him. It's cool. I ain't tripping about it. So don't nobody think Cam the Trucker mad because he got hit with a random drug test. I ain't tripping about none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just shit happened, man. You know? I mean, shit. We're going to just keep doing our thing, man. We're going to just keep getting money. We're going to, you know, do our thing, bro. More of the story, man. We got a truck wash today. And um, we're going to see how this week go, man. I might be going back to the crib. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But when I get up to Illinois, I'm going to see what I'm going to do, how I'm going to move it. My dispatcher, uh, he on vacation and shit. Uh, the dispatcher who filling in for him, Ty, cool dude, he called me just for a minute ago like, hey, Cam, <laughs> you, you, you got your glasses on you and shit, right? Because you got a restriction on your license, right? I'm like, yeah. And he just basically hit me with the glasses spill. So basically they telling everybody at uh, Blur, y'all need to have y'all motherfucking glasses if y'all got the restriction. They didn't hit my boy Corey up. Told him the same thing. They put it all on the uh, the, the uh, quail calm and shit. So they they just trying to cover their eyes and dot their t's with that type of situation. So Ty was telling me like, bro, make sure you got your glasses, man, and blase blase. If you ain't got them, we can get them. I'm like, yeah, gang, I got the glasses. But then I said, hey, G, I'm the one who got popped for no glasses. He started laughing. He said, for real. I'm like, yeah, G, I'm the one that got popped, bro. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I ain't shit stopped since nigga got popped, man. Twelve popped me. It is what it is, though, man. We're going to keep rolling. We're going to keep doing our thing. I just want to share that story out with y'all, man. Let y'all know how everything going on, bro. But this week, we made $4,725. We're going to still keep this shit going. Like I say, man, Blur is big on safety, bro. And when the shit popped off, I kind of knew it was going to just go off. Like, hey, it was just. So any Blur driver that seen that uh, message in the quail come, yeah, bro, it's me, bro. It is what it is. Shit, I'm the reason why they probably call you, tell you, telling you to keep your glasses on. But, yeah, man, just wanted to tell y'all what's going on. Wanted to give y'all an update. Shit, ain't nothing to a boss. It was just a little, a little tension in the room, you know what I'm saying, as far as everything that's been going on. But everything going to open up now. We rolling. We doing our thing. And, uh, man, y'all be safe out here, man. Keep getting money. You know what I'm saying? Stay sucker free, bro. I'm telling you, man. I appreciate all the new subscribers, bro. I mean, my my page is a little bit of this, a little bit of that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I like keeping it honest. I don't care about nobody's opinion on the situations or anything, you know? I just like doing me, and this my outlet for me to do me on, you know what I'm saying? As far as uh, on YouTube and shit, I just like giving y'all good content, man. Shit, hey, the life of Cam the Trucker, baby, right here, live in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Mister, I put that shit on like cologne. That's me. You know, whether it's good or bad, like I could have kept the that I got put out of service to my motherfucking self. But guess what? Y'all, my people, man, I don't care about sharing this shit to y'all. I mean, sharing this shit with y'all. I put on here. I had twenty three thousand dollars in repairs and shit. I done took out an AK loan uh, from Blur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I done put all this shit out on here on YouTube. Me and Blur went four and four on the motherfucking eight thousand dollar bill. I put all this shit on there. Like, that's just what it is. I ain't no shame in my game. Because I'm going to remain the same. That's me. You know? I'm going to remain the same no matter what. So, man, y'all, my folks, man, I love y'all. Be safe out here, man. Keep getting that money on because if you ain't getting that money on, your ass is done, y'all. Stupid, goofy fool. This shit to the bluff. Fuck a haircut, I'm in my bag. Ran it up looking rough. Chasing them, but some money. Throw a hoe straight on shove. Really, this short for shuffle. Double G's in a sweater. My vegan bitch hate the rag because the inside hamburger.